Bum, 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 PSA book order. Hey guys, Rocky Velli here. Well, it's that time again. Another opening of a PSA return. This is the 68 card bulk order. I just received in the mail today. This came at least a month ahead of schedule. I, I knew they were backed up for a long time. And I did not expect them uh, to ship it out this, this quick. I thought it was going to take another, another month or so. But it is here. I got the email saying it was coming. I was shocked, surprised, and thrilled. And I'm going to bust it open for you. i got 68 cards in here. These are the ones that did not make the cut from the uh, from my initial 15 card voucher submission but there's some there are there is some fire in this and hopefully we get some good grades on it we bust open the box and check them out while I'm opening the box I just want to take this opportunity to thank you guys because I went from like five sub five subscribers to almost 60 in the last week, ever since I uh, uploaded um, my last two videos, and thank you guys so much. I did not expect the channel to to grow this this big. I know I'm still under a hundred subscribers and anything, but I did not expect this to happen. And I've gotten some amazing feedback from you guys over the uh, over the. Uh, the uh, box opening, uh, the uh, PSA opening from last time around. It's been unbelievable. And thank you guys so much. All right. Let's start with this one. I'll just do them one at a time to save table space here. Okay, and two pieces of tape. All right, make sure they're oriented right. Okay, first mini box of PSA cards. We kind of zoom in and focus here. There we go. Okay, first card. This is a uh, Jim Tomei from uh, 1991 Bowman. A nine, not bad. I like it. I love, love this card. This is, uh, 91 Bowman to me is one of the most underrated sets, even though it's not like high value or anything. I just love the way these cards look. Nine is not a bad score for these, not at all. And 91 was a great rookie year. They just it was just a year where all the cards are so overproduced, and then the cards aren't really high value. But there's some great Hall of Famers from 1991. All right, this is a Chris Bryant from. I think 2015 Bowman's Best, no, uh, 2015 Tops Chrome, it's a 10. Excellent. Excellent. It's a nice Chris Bryant rookie. Focus. Focus. Come on. There we go. All right. Off to a pretty good start here. Okay, this is the Vlad Guerrero from 1995 Bowman. It's an eight. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. I've had this card since 1995, and it, like when I was a teenager, and you know, you move cards to and from top loaders and reorganize and change binders and everything. It happens. This is, I mean, it's not too bad. Okay, this is an Alex Bregman finest first autograph from last year. It's a ten. Excellent. 
this guy is a really, really good player. He's overshadowed a little bit on the Astros and how good they are, but he's, he's a really excellent player. I, li I like this card a whole lot. All right, here is an Aaron Judge from Bowman's Best from last year. Gem Mint 10, Blue Refractor. It is out of 150. All right. Okay. Here is the uh, 79 Tops Ozzie Smith rookie card. I'm not anticipating a really great grade on this. I kind of got it for cheap at a uh, card show out of a out of a bin. It looked decent. I thought I if I got it for really cheap. Let's see what I got on it. It's a four. Eh. Yeah. I can I can see it. It is. I don't know if y'all can see that. I just wanted a slabbed Aussie rookie. Focus. There we go. I just wanted a slabbed Aussie rookie. And, a, you know, a four will do, at least for now. I just, you know, like to have a slabbed Aussie rookie in my collection. Okay. This is the uh, 79 Nolan Ryan. It is a five. Okay. A thin, I don't know. I, I thought this could be a six or a seven, to be honest with you. Doesn't look too bad on the corners and the edges. I'm not sure where they, there's a, that aforementioned oil spot from this era of cards too. That might've had something to do with it. I'm not seeing a whole lot wrong with the card. The centering is pretty good. I mean, the back is a little off center, but. Huh, okay. It's a five. Okay, here's another Chris Bryant. This is from uh, 2015 Bowman's Best. It's the Refractor, Jim Mint 10. All right. As with any of these modern cards, it's, you know, 10 or bust. Okay, here's an 86 Fleer Update Barry Bonds rookie. It's an 8. You know, not too bad. I mean, there's a little... I don't know if y'all can see that. See that little touch there on the top corner? You know, with any, any of these cards that have the dark borders, see there's a little chipping on the edge here. This is kind of what I expected the grade to be. I wasn't expecting a 9 or a 10 on this, so I'm pretty happy with 8. That's not bad at all. And you can see a little chipping on the, the black border on the, on the back side of the card as well. I'm pretty happy with an 8 with that card. Okay, here's an Andrew Benatendi from 2015 Bowman's Best, the uh, the prospect cards. It's a 10. It's a green, green refractor out of 99. There's the 99. Love this card. And Benatendi is killing it this year. He's really playing well. So, I like this card a lot. Okay, here's a, uh, a Mike Trout. Uh, the, for the first 2018 product I opened this year, the first pack was base tops. You know how they have the short prints, uh, like the photo variations? Well, I got a Mike Trout short print photo variation. It's a 10. Excellent. That's a cool picture of Mike Trout as well. Excellent. Here is an Aaron Judge. Not exactly sure what this is, but we're about to find out. Yep, tops gold label, uh, class three Aaron Judge. It's a 10. All right. Move these a little bit. Okay, this is a Matt Olson from a uh, Tops Heritage from last year. This is the uh, the autograph Matt, Hol Matt Olson. It's a ten. 
awesome. I like Matt Olson a lot. I get a chance to watch him play a lot since you know the Rangers and and uh, A's play uh, almost 20 times every single year. So he's a very impressive player. I think he's very underrated. He plays for the he plays for Oakland, so I don't think he gets the shine he deserves. But, but I'm, ha I'm really happy with this. Okay, now we're getting into some uh, 87 Donruss cards, which uh, th they are notoriously tough graders. The black borders, but here's the Maddox. It's an eight. Okay. Um, yeah, I mean, a little, a little centering. Centering's a little bit off, left to right. Uh, let's see, maybe a little touched corner there on the top right. Maybe a little micro corner touch on the top left. Yeah, it's it's this is such a brutal set for grading. If you can find a 10 in any of these cards, you, you've really, really made yourself a good score. Okay, here's a Bonds. It's an eight. Okay, all right. Yeah, a little edge chipping. I mean, still, I mean, this is, this is such a tough say. You can't really be too angry when you don't get a nine or a 10 on these. They're very, very difficult. All right. Here's a uh, Chance Cisco from uh, Topps Heritage from this year. This is an autograph. I pulled it from a pack, which hopefully this will turn out to be a pretty good pull. It's a 10. The Orioles stink this year, <laughs> but I hope this guy uh, pans out, though. He's got a, he's got a, from what I can tell, he's a pretty good hitter, so he's got, he's got a chance to be a good player. All right, excellent. This is a uh, Bowman High Tech Nick Senzel from last year. This is an autograph. Ten, nice, excellent. It's kind of a <laughs> lazy autograph, but he's you know pretty good prospect. So hopefully he pans out. Okay, here's an Aaron Judge from Donruss Optic. The pink, re the pink refractor. Got it out of a, it's a nine. Okay, all right. Yeah, maybe a little centering issues, but okay. These, these uh, <clears throat> the pink parallels, they were exclusive to retail. I got this out of a blaster box of Donruss Optic from a Target last year. I was like, pretty good, pretty good pull, but not a 10. Okay, here's an Ian Happ out of uh, 2015 Bowman's Best. This is the uh, best of 2015 autograph. It's a 10. Excellent. Would like to see him cut down on the strikeouts a little bit. A good hitter, I just really, you know, hopefully he gets a little bit of uh plate discipline and he improves that part of his game because if he does he's going to be a solid major leaguer okay here's my boy adrian beltre don't have high hopes of this one being a 10 you can already tell it's a little off center for, on, on the back which is not a great sign but i sent it in anyway because i just love the guy <laughs> he's my i have to say he's my all-time favorite ranger he has to be but here we go. This is the 1997 Bowman, Bowman's Best, Bowman Chrome, sorry. It's an eight. All right. Yeah, I mean, centering is definitely a, uh, let's see, there we go. Yeah, centering's definitely an issue here. There might be some micro scratches on the chrome. But Whoops, <laughs> but definitely worth a try on sending this in, try to get at least a nine on it. But it was, it was an eight. I'll take it. Here's another berry from 87 Donruss. That's a nine. I like it. I like it. 
I don't know what this is, though. You don't see that? Huh. That was not on the card. This little white thing here was not on the card when I sent it in. I wouldn't have sent it in otherwise. Okay, I'm going to have to investigate that after I turn the camera off. Because I don't, I don't know if PSA did that or whatever, but I know that wasn't on there when I sent the card in. Okay, I'll, I'll have to figure out what that's all about. All right, next box. So guys, I'm trying to I'm trying to breeze through this relatively quickly because there's a lot of cards to get through, and uh, but I still want to kind of go over the cards as well. But I mean, time is a is a factor. I understand that, so I'm trying to go a little quickly. Okay, open. There we go. All right. We have more cards. Okay. Here we get into the uh, 1991 Ultra Update. This is Mike Mucina's rookie card. Let's see here. It's a nine. I mean, it's kind of tough with the, uh, you know, with the silver borders. Let me move that out of the way to prevent. There we go. Try to identify where the, oh, well, maybe a little bit of fuzz on the, like micro fuzz on the top there. Uh, maybe a little touch on this corner here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Ah, I see. I see why it's a nine and not a ten. See right here. Yeah, see that. See that edge. These uh, silver borders kind of show the chipping quite a bit. So that's why it's a it's a nine. But it's still a cool Mike Mucina. Borderline Hall of Famer, but he was—he had so much postseason success with the uh, with the Yankees. Okay, I think this is a, this is a the only basketball card in this uh, in this order. I think it's the only uh, non-baseball card in this order. It's a Shaquille O'Neal '92 tops. I've had this card ever since it came out. I got this when I was like 12 or 13. Don't anticipate a 10 or anything on it, but let's see. I wanted a, a slab shack rookie. It's an eight. That's not too bad. That's that's very good. I was expecting a seven or an eight. Not too bad at all. The big fella. Love Shaq. He's always been my favorite basketball player. Excellent. All right. This is a Nolan Ryan from 78. On my quest to have every base Nolan Ryan card ever made, except the 68. I have no interest in that card. I'll explain why here in a second. It's a seven. I like it. Such a great Nolan Ryan card right there. Such a cool card. Yeah, it's, I mean, centering is really nice on it. I mean, seven for a, a card from this set is not bad at all. Excellent. I have a pet peeve against the uh, the multiplayer rookie the multiplayer rookie cards from the sixties and seventies that you know, like three four players on them. You had the, the player that you want the rookie card of, and then you have like two or three other schmucks on the card. And, that, and I think the cards just look hideous as well. I, I, like, I like the first solo cards. Like 69 Nolan, 
uh, 74 Schmidt, cards like that. Okay, here's Tony Gwynn, 83 tops. Let's see what we got. No. Ugh, a five. Now that is disappointing. That is disappointing. Uh, I mean, it's hard for me. I would have to break out the uh, you know, break out a magnifying glass because it, I mean, I mean, yeah. Granted, the centering's not awesome on it, but uh, I mean, it looks pretty clean. I mean, I'd have to break out the magnifying glass, but a five. Oh, the centering is pretty terrible on the back, I have to admit. But, I mean, I could see a 6, seven, maybe a 7 on a good day. But a 5, eh. A little disappointed in that one, I have to be honest there. Okay, here's another uh, 1991 Ultra Update card. Here's my boy Pudge, my second favorite Ranger of all time. Now, if that Mucina got a 9, this chipping up here, this is going to be a 9 as well. I'm calling it. It's going to be a 9. It is a 9. Joe Orlando, you should hire me to grade cards. <laughs> nice. It's, it's really clean in the front. That's a great Pudge rookie. He, does, uh, he has the 91 Bowman, which I love that card. But, you know, this one as well. Pudge is my dude, man. Okay, here's the, uh, here's the last of the three Ultra Update rookie cards. Jeff Bagwell. It is a 10. Nice. That is, yeah, I knew this had a shot at a 10 because it is crisp. Try to go, try to focus in on the edges here. Yeah, it is super crisp. I thought this definitely had a shot. And it paid off. Excellent. So Jeff Bagwell rookie card 91 Ultra Update is a winner. Excellent. Okay. My newest favorite set of all time, 1984 Fleer Update. This is the doc from that set. Are we going to go three for three on outstanding grades? Let's find out. A nine. Yes, we did go three for three. I like it. Excellent. I love 84. FLIR update. It is the greatest thing ever and I cherish it always. It has been very good to me. Okay, here's an 88 score traded. I think score traded. Uh, Craig Biggio rookie card. Nine. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I like it. Let's see where the uh, maybe a little, maybe just a little mini touch on the corner here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Focus. Yeah, maybe a little mini touch up here on this corner as well. But all in all, you know, maybe a little off-center in the back. A few things kind of prevented it from being a 10, but a great eye appeal on that card. Love that. Biggio is a very underrated player. Here's the uh, Roberto Alomar from the same set. That is a 10. I like it. I mean, this, that's fantastic. Robbie rookie card in a 10, and this is his, uh, this is his highest value. The 88 score traded set is a you know it's it's kind of like the most short printed of all the 88 88 card sets so it has a little bit more value than the others okay here's frank thomas the 90 leaf let's see what we get on this 
It's a nine. I like it. Beautiful, beautiful set. 90 Leaf is one of my all-time favorites. And Frank Thomas was a beast back when I was growing up in the 90s. So I am pumped about this being a 9. Excellent. All right. Okay, here's Willie Mays. This is a 65. Let's see what we got on this. 65 Willie Mays. Ugh, a 3. Okay, all right. Well, that being said, these vintage cards, I just want, you know, the cards that have good eye appeal, I wanted them slabbed. Because it's freaking Willie Mays here. I mean, come on. It's still a beautiful card. I mean, the edges and corners, just a little bit touched up here. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, on, on the back, you can definitely tell that corner is pretty messed up. Actually, all of them, wherever the like the the blue green area, like the blue green, bluish green color on the background, it really shows the corners a lot. So that's that's probably what the yeah, and it's I think this the the gum was I think the gum was on this card as well. So it's a three, but still definite PC. Definite keeper. I like it. You know, it's just a beautiful car to have slab. I mean, you can't go wrong with slabbing any vintage. You really can't. Okay, next is a Sandy Koufax 1966 Tops. Before I turn it over, though, I want to show you strikeouts 382 in 1965 like i mentioned in my last video with a 204 era dude was nasty okay it's a three okay okay i'll take it once again you know just you know these vintage hall of fame cards yeah I'll just get them slabbed to see where they go they just look beautiful in a psa holder Okay, here's a Brooks Robinson 66. It's a five. That's a pretty good grade for it for this set. I like it. The human vacuum cleaner, 1966 tops. Excellent. All right. Here's a uh, 68 Yastrzemski. It's a four. Okay. All right, I'll take a four. I picked this up at a card show for like five bucks. So can't complain about that. All right, Bob Gibson. This is a 1961 Bob Gibson. 3.5, okay. There's Bob there. Excellent. Okay. I've learned just to not worry too much about the grades on the vintage. A good grade on a vintage card is just cherry on top. Okay, here's a, a 61 Brooks Robinson. Same set as the Gibson. That's a five. Very nice. Good eye appeal on this card. Centering is not too bad at all. I mean, look, top to bottom is worse, but the uh, the, the side to side is it's off too, but it's it's not not that bad. It still has good eye appeal. Pretty thrilled with a five on that. Okay, here's a here's another Bob Gibson. I uh, forget what year this is. Let's find out. This is a sixty. And it's a three. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty reasonable. A little dinged corner here, a kind of dinged in corner. Focus. There we go. I don't know if y'all can see that. Camera's picking that up. Centering is pretty bad on it, but still. I mean, 
1960 tops, any of the Hall of Fame cards, very, very collectible. It's, just, it's such a beautifully designed set. Can't beat that. So I'm happy with that. All right, more vintage. This is a Hank Aaron from 1960. And this is, this is a card that I've been looking forward to seeing what I got on it. A three. Okay, all right. Gr I mean, love the eye appeal of the card. The centering is actually pretty darn good on this one. It'll push in corner here. I don't know if focus on that. A little pushed in corner, but all in all, not too bad. Okay, this is a Barry Bonds 86. Uh, I think. Actually, I forgot. I forgot. I think, actually, I think it's a Don Russ. 86 Don Russ, I think. No, Tops Traded. It's an eight. Okay. Yeah, kind of a rough cut. This black border up here is very, very difficult. So if you can find this particular card in a 10, you've really got a nice card. Because this black border up here, it shows up even worse than the, uh, than the Donruss, the 87 Donruss. Because this is a jet black area and it shows up everything. Yeah, all that chipping right there kind of knocked it off of a 9 or a 10. All right, then. Okay, here's a Kurt Schilling rookie card from 1989 Donruss. It's a 9. Okay. I mean, with these cards, it's so cheap to acquire these cards that, you know, it can't hurt to, uh, you know, to... You know, pick a bunch of 80, 89 Donruss, 87 Donruss, you know, any of the junk wax and, and keep, you know, send them in if you get a, a PSA has a special going on. Might as well send them in, try to get a 10 on them. That's a 9, not too bad though. I mean, borderline Hall of Fame or two, so. All right, here's Andrew Jones, 1995 Bowman. Jim mint 10 excellent i don't think he's going to get into the hall of fame but he had a really really solid career he really did and i'm i'm, I'm really happy with a uh, with a 10 and this is a card that i've had since it came out i pulled it out of a pack out of 95 bowman back in 1995 and I, I apparently I t i'm really proud of myself because apparently i took care of it really well and it got a 10. Really, really happy about that. Excellent. All right, let me open up another box. Okay. Baseball cards. All right, next one. We have Yaziel Puig. <clears throat> I forget what year this is from, but this is a Yaziel Puig rookie card. Jim Mint 10, uh, 2013 Topps Chrome. Very nice. Yeah, it's just a little box schmutz. There we go. It's my lighting all messed up. There we go. Not too bad. I like it. Can't beat a 10. All right. Manny Machado rookie card. This is a uh, 2013, I want to say. Yeah, 2013 Topps Chrome. It's a Gem Mint 10. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Nice. I got the, the Q 
key, a key rookie card from Manny Machado. Excellent. And here's the uh, Nolan Arenado from the same set. Let's see what we got. It's a nine. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I might be able to see some... Maybe, maybe as a centering thing, maybe it's something where they brought out the jeweler's loop, they found something, found a touch on it. Okay. All right, here's the, uh, now we're getting into some 92 Bowman. Here's uh, Pedro Martinez. Uh, Pedro Martinez from 92 Bowman. It's a nine. And I can see why, and I'm sure you can too, the, uh, <laughs> the centering is not the best on it, but still, it's a. I call it I call it a rookie card because he only had one card from 1991, and it was the uh, up. It was like an upper deck. Um, I forget what it's called. Up, upper deck rookie something. Um, it's just not a not a very desirable card in my opinion. So I consider the 92 Bowman as rookie. Okay, here is the Piazza. I got a 9 on the 92 Fleer update. But let's see what I get on the 92 Bowman. A 6. Okay, alright. Well, that is very disappointing. Let's see where the issue could have lied. Huh. I would have, I would have to take a closer look when I'm not leaning around my tripod, but that's per, that's a pretty disappointing grade. It's a, it's a it's a cool Piazza rookie. I prefer the '92 Fleer update, but it's, this is still I you, I mean Piazza was just a great player. I would I would like I would have liked for that would have been a little bit higher. Well, what can you do? Okay, here's Manny. Manny rookie card. It's a nine. There we go. <laughs> yeah. I always have to laugh at the uh, the dated street clothes from 1992. <laughs> These cards. I don't know if y'all have seen the Chipper Jones card from this. Wow, that is a very very ugly shirt he's wearing. But yeah, a nine on this card. Excellent. And here is the big boy, Mariano. Come on, baby. Come on, 10. It's a nine. Still terrific. Very nice. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, 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 very clean Mariano card. I like it. I'll take it. Excellent. And here's the Trevor Hoffman. From all I've heard, one of the nicest guys who's ever played baseball. From, I've heard so many stories of how nice of a guy he is. So you got to respect that. Hall of Famer Trevor Hoffman. It's a nine as well. I can see it. The centering is a little bit off. But still, cool. Trevor Hoffman rookie card. Here is Noma, Noma from 1992 Tops Traded. A nine, okay. Cool. All right, there we go. All right, here is the 89 Tops Traded Griffey. Let's see what we got on it. An eight. Eh, a little disappointed in that, obviously, but yeah, I mean, especially with these black borders, you can see the, there we go, you can see the a little bit of chipping on the top edge there. Still beautiful card to have in a slab. Very nice. All right, here is a Reggie from 76. An eight? 
Yes. Terrific grade for a mid 70s card. Absolutely fantastic. What a great looking card, too. I think this was his last year with the A's. He went to the uh, to the Yankees for the 77 season, and they ended up winning the World Series. Which I'm sure makes Silver Jackify very happy. Shout out to Silver Jackify. I love your content, dude. Really, really happy with an 8 on this card. That's excellent. Fantastic, man. Okay, here's the Dave Winfield rookie card. I got this at a card show for, you know, for kind of cheap, so I don't have very high hopes for the grade on it, but let's see. It's a five. Okay. Yeah, kind of what I expected. Corners are a little bit rough. A little bit of print line right here. I don't know if y'all can see that, but... I mean, still... Have a Dave Winfield rookie card slabbed. Excellent. All right, here's an Eddie Matthews from 63, which 63 is a beautiful set. Let's see what we got. 4.5. Okay. Yeah, the the blue on the the blue on the bottom border really shows off edge wear and corner wear a whole lot. Centering's not too bad on it. So this card looks, that's beautiful. Look at that. Look at the back. Focus, there we go. Look at that consistency. Guy was hitting moon shots his entire career. Career 282 at this time. Okay, and now we have, if, if you're an experienced collector, you'll know exactly what this is when you see it. <laughs> yes, it is that card. And if you're new to collecting, you're like, why on earth are you getting a 89 Fleer Billy Ripken slabbed? The F face card. And it's an eight. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay, I'll take an eight. I mean, what baseball card collection is complete without the Billy Ripken F face card? <laughs> and like, from, from what I understand, from like what Billy Ripken talks about the baseball card incident, uh, uh, like Cal Jr. always, like when they have like a little family get together, he always. Cal Jr. always gives him a bunch of crap about that, that incident all the time. That, that's just funny to me. Okay, here's a Nolan Ryan from 77. Ugh. Yeah, that, that corner right there. A two. Okay. Eh. Can't win them all. <laughs> I'll have to try again on this card, but still, it was worth a shot. Okay, here's the uh, the Reggie from, actually, I forget the year. I think this is a 71, I think. Let's find out. Yep, it's a four. Okay. I like it. Yeah, I mean, clearly, any of the 71 tops cards, you're pretty much going to get all this edge, this edge wear showing. And, you know, there's that corner right there. This is kind of par for the course for this. Um, I saw a video that Bob Lewis uploaded the other day, and he has a Nolan Ryan from this set. It's one of the best looking. 91 tops cards I've ever seen because it, it, like the edges look super clean except for one corner Dude send that card in that is excellent card But yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with a four on this card One of the most notoriously difficult grading uh, grading sets of all time 
Okay, here's a Willie Mays. It's the 72 Mays. It's a six. I like it. I will take a six. Love the centering on this car. That's what drew me to it. It's a great picture of Willie, too. You gotta love 72 tops. That is, if you, if you, if you uh, asked, you know, what would, a, what would a card set, baseball card set from 1972 look like? You would probably end up drawing something like this. <laughs> it's, the, it's quintessential for its time. Okay, here is a uh, Mike Piazza minor league card from 92 Classic Best. Really interested to see what this one comes out as. A five. Okay, <laughs> all right. Great card, though. It's a great-looking card, though. Kind of an under-the-radar Piazza. Okay, here's the A-Rod from 94 SP. These foil cards are very tough. An eight. Great grade for this set. Let's see if I can get a good focus here. Yeah. I'll take it, man. I will take an eight. I mean, a little chipping on the top here. These are such tough cards to get graded. A little ding on the top corner here. Might have kept it from a nine, but yeah. Really pleased with that. Okay. Love this car. I always have ever since I pulled it out of the pack. This is a minor Derek Jeter minor league card. It's 92-93 Fleer XL. Love this card. Derek Jeter as a rosy cheeked prospect. <laughs> this is a great card. Let's see what we got. A nine. I like it. I mean, look at that. That's a beautiful Derek Jeter card right there. I think this is a very underrated Jeter. I mean, a nine. I mean, and I've had this since 90, 92, 93. Excellent, man. Very, very happy with that Jeter. Okay, here's the Albert Pujols from uh, 2001 out of the, uh, out of the traded set, a chrome traded. A nine. Okay, and I can definitely tell why. Look at, that, look at the centering. It's a little bit off on the front. There we go. Albert Pujols rookie card. And but now in both the 3,000 hit club and the 600 home run club. All right, we have one more box to go. This one doesn't have as many cards in it. Okay. Well, uh, as opposed to the last video, there's, there's not going to be uh, a, an incident with me hyperventilating from a, from a grade I get from an excellent grade. But I uh, hope this is kind of a, a nice little journey through baseball card history here. I hope y'all are enjoying that. Okay. This is the last five cards. All right, here is a, uh, here's a Stanton rookie card. from uh, This is a Topps Chrome from, I think, 2010. A nine. Okay, all right. Yeah, I, mean, I was kind of going over it. The surface is a little weird on it. But yeah, I mean, I'll definitely take a nine. That's not too bad at all. I was, I was, I was kind of iffy on it having a chance at a 10 anyway. So I can't be disappointed in that too much. Really cool looking card though. Okay, here's the uh, Charlie Blackman uh, rookie card right here. For This is from uh, 2011 Topps Update, the same set that Trout and Altuve are in. A 10, 
two for two so far on 2011 Tops update submissions. I like it. I'm having weird issues with my lighting here. There we go. All right. And now here's the, uh, the other 2011 Tops update card in this submission. Can we go three for three on PSA submissions from this set? Here is the Goldschmidt. A nine. Oh, almost. All right, but still, good, good eye appeal on this card. And Goldschmidt uh, struggled at the beginning of this season, but he's starting to hit now. He's starting to hit again now. He's heating up. So that, that's a good thing. Not too bad, though. All right, here is, uh, we end up with a couple of uh, 83 tops cards. Hopefully these will turn out better than that Gwyn did. I got a five on that Gwyn, which I'm pretty disappointed about. But let's see what we got on the Bogs. An eight. Nice. Okay, I'll take that. I will take that. I'll have to do a compare contrast between this card and the Gwyn and see where the, the Gwyn, uh, Gwyn went a little bit off. This is hard for me because I have the camera right in front of me and I'm leaning around my tripod. It's kind of difficult to, to see. All right, here is the Sandberg. A nine. All right, it's finishing strong on uh, finishing strong on this submission. Last card is a, a nine from 83 tops. Really nice looking Sandberg rookie there. Excellent. All right, guys. Well, well, that's that's it for this submission. Um, I'm really pleased that it came in this quickly. I uh, hope you all enjoyed this and. Um, I have another video coming out very shortly that I'll have out this weekend. I'm in the editing process right now. I'm going to be going over a, in a, uh, going over a vintage set. We'll be exploring our way through that, so that should be a lot of fun. Um, when you got, anyway, guys, I hope you all guys enjoyed this. Take care, and I'll see you.